name is Sarah and welcome to Happy Crab Knits. I am coming to you today from my living room couch on a beautiful fall day. Nice clouds and some breeze going on so I'm definitely feeling very fall which I'm happy about. Um, so I know I have not done a video in quite some time and I do apologize. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my professional life and personal life which put the videotaping on a bit of a back burner but I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, I don't want to set myself on a set schedule only because, to be honest, I, I don't know when I will and won't have time to videotape, as well as the fact that I'm a bit of a slow knitter, so I don't have a whole lot of finished objects that would be done in like a couple of weeks. Um, I envy those that can knit fast, but I do enjoy the process. I find it very meditative. Uh, so. Just for those that are joining, my name is Sarah, and I have a wonderful husband, and we have two dogs and three kitties, so we are fur parents and living here in Virginia. All right, so why don't we just get into this? Uh, so I have done an object that I finished a couple months ago. Um, I do enjoy sock knitting, and it's by Stone Knits, and it's their Flamingo Sock Pattern. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember the main color yarn, but this Flamingo is actually, the yarn's called Flamingo um, by uh, Leaf of Faith Yarn Company. So I would definitely recommend checking out her site. Uh, she has a really good selection of yarns and it's very soft and I really love the color tones that you can get within the yarn that she does. Um, so I will drop a link to her site below. But yes, yeah, so this is a stone knit sock pattern. She, her patterns are amazing. I, I want to knit more. Um, but this is the first one I've done. And this is my second color work sock that I've done so far. And I'm really enjoying it. Sorry if it's a little fuzzy. Um, it's gone through the wash a couple of times. But I still think she's pretty. Uh, the pattern calls to do a, I think it's what a double knit um, to make the eyes, but I really didn't think it needed it because if you're looking, you can see that it's clearly a flamingo um, and I need to work on my stitching anyway. So I figured don't really want to mess up the sock. So I'll just leave out the eyes. So there's my sock. <laughs> um, another thing that I'm currently working on is the Alaska Sweater by Emily Descato, and I apologize if I butchered the name. Um, this is actually a re-knit. So I knit it a couple of years ago, and I liked it. The only problem was I found it was a bit too snug, and I didn't really like the length that I knitted it. So I ended up ripping it out and starting over. So let me show you what I have. So this is the body, I'm done with the body. And I'm done with one, one sleeve and I am currently working on another. And I must say, the pattern itself, I absolutely love. It's a fun pattern. The color work chart that she has on there is really easy to follow. And the, like I said, I'm, I'm re-knitting it, so definitely will be making more sweaters once I find the sweet spot for how I like things to fit over my body. Um, so yes, so I can pull it up. It'll look like this, which I think will be nice. Uh, for this one, it's finger wing weight yarn and it's by Kelbourne Woolens in their Scout. And the green is their Moss Heather and this gold, if I turn it the right side, is a sunflower heather. And I must say the combination, it just screams fall. And the yarn itself is really soft. Like it's, I don't think I would actually have to wear a camisole underneath it because it's not scratchy, um, but it's not super washed either. So um, it's just, just the way it, it softens when you wash it. I couldn't be happier with it. Um, this is what the yarn looks like caked up. And as you can see, it has some nice, like kind of gold 
undertones. Sorry, I'm trying to get it. Ah, there we go. Some gold undertones. And it's just an absolute pleasure to work with. My cat seemed to think so too, because every time I knit, <laughs> I have a cat attacking my yarn. Um, I've also got socks on the needles. I just cast it on last night. And I am doing the morning coffee sock pattern by Kay. As she goes on Instagram as the crazy sock lady. If y'all haven't watched her YouTube channels, I highly suggest it. She's wonderful. She actually, because of her podcast, is how I learned about different yarn makers. Um, her tutorials on sock knitting really helped get me into the sock knitting game. So huge shout out to her. I mean, she's she's really good. So I definitely suggest her, her, her podcast. So this is the morning coffee sock pattern. And it has a really nice texture to the sock, but it doesn't make it feel super bulky either. Um, this beautiful like forest green. I can't think of the the name of this yarn. Unfortunately, the the dyer was Rebel Woolworks, and she's no longer doing um, yarn dyeing, which is really sad because I absolutely fell in love with her yarn, and now I can't get any more. But the main color, it's like a nice light cream. As you can see, I caked it up last night. Um, this yarn is by Robin's Promise Yarn Company. They are actually in uh, Williamsburg. And this is their Songbird Fingering. So it's four ply, superwash merino, 75%, 25% nylon, 100 grams. And the name of this is Cedar Waxwing Crown. And this is the, the label. Sorry if it's flipping the the names around, but everything I, I say, I'm going to, I'm going to do a link in the video. And like I said, that's that I started last night and I'm making good progress. The other thing is I have been watching the crazy sock lady and she always talks about hypnotic yarns and the yarnable. And I have been on the fence for the past couple of years on wanting to do a subscription box only because I don't knit super fast but I do love the idea of having yarn at the ready and possibly uh, using different yarn combinations to make some fun sweaters and, and t-shirts for summer. So I went to the Hypnotic Yarns website and they actually had some past yarnable boxes that they had um, extras. Mm, excuse me. So I went ahead and ordered a box and I even subscribed, so I'm really excited. So once I start getting the my first yarnable box, I will be getting in November, so I'll do an unboxing at that time. But I'm gonna show you what I did end up getting. Um, so this is Hypnotic Yarn, and this is called A Little More Summer Please, and I, not really a yellow person, but this yarn just spoke to me because it has a nice like sunflower -y, sunflower lemony yellows. Um, <laughs> I have been mixing my words today, so feel free to laugh along at my mispronunciations today. I don't know what's going on. I have coffee I'm going to be drinking after this. Um, but it also has, I can't see, sorry, again, newbie video person here. Um, it has some greens and pink, so it kind of reminds me, when I'm looking at this yarn, it reminds me of, I would say, a freckled strawberry lemonade is kind of how I envision this. And I'm thinking this would make up into a really pretty pair of socks, or what I might end up doing is finding a... Um, a nice contrast yarn to go with this and maybe find a fun summery top pattern to make with this. And then I was kind of thinking, you know, that might actually pair nicely. So I might find a nice neutral tone to go with this and make some sort of fun shirt, but again, not really sure yet, but definitely something that might happen. But so like I said, this was one of their past boxes. So you get the really pretty yarn. And this one 
came with a Coke koozie and it says, I've got 99 problems, but a stitch ain't one. How fun is that? And I love flamingos. Flamingos are fun. So it came with this and it came with iPads that you can use hot and cold and it has pineapples, which is like my favorite fruit. And y'all can't tell, but I have dark spots under my eyes as I'm getting older. So these are definitely gonna come in handy. Um, along with that came this goat's milk soap scented pineapple. And I love how it looks like a popsicle stick. So this is gonna go into the guest bath. I think that'll be really fun. And I mean, you can even smell it through the wrapping. That's how strong it is, but not, not in an overwhelming sense of, of saying strong. It's just, it has a really nice scent to it. So definitely not super overpowering. And then for fun, look at these. Flamingo swizzle sticks. So I'm gonna be using these this summer for some really fun cocktails or even, you know, milkshakes or something. I don't know. I have to think of something. These would also be fun like for cake decorating too. So I'll have to think of that. Um, in there, okay, so I don't think this is part of the box, um, but I ordered a couple additionals because at the Hypnotic Yarn site, and again, I'm going to list the link in the show notes, um, they also sell the extras, which I was really excited about. Um, but part of this, they, it came with this loose leaf tea called Halloween Blend, uh, Blend Black Tea. Uh, it has black tea, rubios apple pieces and mixed with some vanilla essence. So this is going to be a fun, nice cold night tea. So I'm going to keep that on standby. But one of the Yarnable boxes they had, and it was really cool because it was like avocado themed. Well, they had extra stitch markers and it's an av, it's a avocado with a sweatband going on. So, you know, hopefully knit some calories, use this. Maybe this will get me into the whole workout mindset, which I clearly don't have. I can make a hundred excuses. If excuses burn calories, I would never have to work out at all. And then there's also this, this is really cool. So on one side it has, oh, <laughs> it has crochet hook sizes and the other side has knitting needles sizes. And what's really cool about this is you can clip this to one of your projects and say that um, you're going to start another project and the current project you have, you need the needles for. What you can do is put your project that you want the needles to be taken out of on waste yarn or even like barber cables, which are really cool. Um, I like that over yarn. Uh, what you can do is you clip this onto your project and then you take one of your light bulb stitches and you stick it in its corresponding size. And then that way, when you go back to your project, you know exactly what needle or hook, depending on if you're knitting, crocheting, that you need to use. So this is really cool. I'm excited because I may be using this at some point here shortly. So that's what I am currently working on. Um, since my last video, I've made a muscle borrow hat, which I've misplaced it, so I can't show that to you, but I've made a muscle borrow hat, made some more just plain vanilla socks, um, trying to get back into reading. I, ha I took a hiatus on reading. Uh, some books that I really enjoy are Murder Mystery, Fun, Who Done It. I call them snack books. I like ones that are just a quick, easy read. So I would suggest Joanne Fluke. Um, she has a really good murder mystery that's, uh, the main character. She is a baker and owns her own cookie shop, but she ends up always finding herself in the midst of these murders and having to solve them. But what's fun about the books is they have, um, recipes in them as well. So cookie recipes and cobbler recipes. And I have not tried to make the recipes yet, but I plan on it for this year for Christmas baking. So I'm going to be taking my books out and finding what recipes I want to use. I'm also reading, sorry, I am all over the place. It's called Death by Dumpling and it's by Vivian Chen. And it's gonna be a series and this is the first one. It's called A Noodle Shop Mystery. And 
so far so good. I like how the author writes. Um, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel tedious when you're reading. You know, like when you're reading this, it feels like you are there with the character. Everything flows like normal conversations would flow. So right now I can say I'm very happy with this book so far. And whenever the next one comes out, I'm sure I'm going to be stocking up on her books. Now I do have another project that I want to start. And it will be my first petite knit pattern. And it's going to be the Oslo hat. And I know... Um, the Knitting Traditions podcast, she's made, I want to say the Oslo hat. Anyway, she's done some petite knitter patterns and she mentioned it. And I have a pair, not pair, what am I saying? Um, I have a ball of purple silk mohair. And then I have another skein of like a lavender cream uh, tonal yarn that I want to knit together. And I think I'm going to do the Oslo hat. Because I think that would be fun and a bit of a quick knit for for the coming winter. So it doesn't look too hard. I mean, the instructions are very simple, very easy. I mean, again, it's it's a beanie, so it's not like it should be that complicated to begin with. I'm sorry, I had the sniffles. I, I there's no way I've tried <laughs> I've tried starting this video a couple of times. So just bear with me, you guys. I am again. A little bit discombobulated but I'm hoping once I start videotaping more I'll have a better rhythm and even possibly longer longer podcasts there is a yarn shop that I want to go to in Richmond it just opened can't think of the name of it yet um, I think I've bookmarked it in Yelp or something but anyways I want to make a trip up to Richmond and go to the yarn shop. So what I was thinking is when I do that, I'm going to do some videotaping and have that for my next podcast. So um, I think that might be fun. So I tell you what, this is gonna be kind of short. I really don't have much else to say, except for thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to sit and listen to me talk yarn. I really do appreciate it. Uh, what projects are y'all knitting on? What are your current whips? What are you thinking about knitting? Um, I'm always down for some suggestions. My husband wants a hoodie, possibly with some color work, but I haven't found any patterns yet. So if y'all know any patterns, definitely put them in the comments below because I'll be honest, I need some help with, with some suggestions. So that would be greatly appreciated. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a Saturday here. It's beautiful. Tonight we are going to go to a haunted house and hayride. So I'm definitely going to be bundled up because it's going to get into like the low 50s. And I, I don't do very well in the cold. I love the fall. I love wearing sweaters. But it's, yeah, cold and I just don't get along. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for being here. Put down in the comments below what you're working on, what you want to work on, any male hoodie patterns. Definitely put those in the comment box as well because I would love to see what y'all are doing. Um, other than that, y'all have a wonderful day and happy knitting. Bye, guys.